Hi, I'm Jeremy and I would like to talk to you a little bit about uh, this paper we published recently on the use of titanium nanotubes in the DSC using ionic liquid electrolyte that shows the great interest of non being volatile. The principle of the DSC has been shown by Professor Gradzel in 1991 and attracts a great interest due to its potential low cost alternative to the traditional silicon solar cell. We will report here for the first time on the use of titanium nanotube arrays for ionic liquid based rigid and flexible disensitized solar cell. The nanotubes were made by potential static anodization of a titanium foil in a fluorine containing electrolyte at 35 volts at room temperature, time depending on the desired thickness of the film. The azimate substrate was titanium tetachloride post treated and annealed in air at 500 degrees C. It was then immersed in the novel D205 dye for 16 hours. Binary ionic liquid devices were made with platinum coated FTO glass and ITO polyethylene naphthalate for flexible cells using serline as a spacer. The growth of the titanium nanotube is very reproducible, and from the SEM image, we can observe the nanostructures. The typical morphology of the tube is 100 nanometer pore diameter with 5 to 14 microns thickness. The photovoltaic performances have been measured with a solar simulator. We summarize here the detail of the IV characteristics. With that, I would like to thank you for your interest in behalf of all the others.